So uh, where does oral sex come into this? If she's uh, <laughs> well, she still had to come your... to your place. She no no again. I know I, I get this joke all the time. Uh, the, the The answer is I. She had to come to your place to give you oral sex, right? Uh, fair so enough. she okay. used her legs. She, she she used her lower body. Yeah. So she used. <laughs> anyway, what I like to say is, if a woman moves her ass somewhere to be near you, then that's compliance. Right. Let's go to the, yeah. Even if it's like, let's go to the bathroom together or, Hey, let's get out of here and go eat. That's still compliance. But a girl mm -hmm. saying, Oh my God, you're so cute. How come you don't have a fucking girlfriend? What's going She's like touching your arm. Dudes, pickup artists are like, Oh, those are IOIs indicators right. of interest. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> they're not indicators. Of, indicators of interest is when she comes over. That's an indicator of interest. When right. a girl she, is touching my arm, that's just attention. That's just attention. She's giving me attention. It costs her nothing to give attention. But what does she want in exchange? Her heroin addiction. And she's addicted to a heroin, but this heroin's called attention. She right. needs attention. And so that's the thing. She'll do anything to get it. And when you come to that realization, the other thing is like when you have a bunch of female friends that you go out with, like plutonic female friends you go out with, and they're all competing with each other, they'll start competing with each other for your attention. And then all of a sudden it's not plutonic anymore. Mm -hmm. that's not plutonic because they're like in their mind they know there's a structure in their mind that knows whichever man whose attention i'm competing for that is the man i'm more attracted to because he has higher status and women care way more about status than men care about a woman's status right mm -hmm. so and uh what was i gonna say um all right uh so Bad guys can stop the drugging now and just use something like parallel life. Like, surely this is a good thing for society. It could be like uh, less drink spiking and date rape drugs. And now guys can just facilitate attention in some yeah. kind of way. All, all, all of that happens because men are bad with, well, not all of it. Some men are psychopaths. Don't get, don't get me wrong. Some men have mental disorders. But women, men going outside the bounds meaning like assault or grape, those things happen because they're bad with women. Mm -hmm. It's because they're bad with women. That's why I, why I say like guys who are helping men improve, you're doing the entire world a service because you'd right. rather not be hit up with a charge and she'd rather not be assaulted, right? The world is better the more attractive men are in general. The world is just better. And the more mm -hmm. men strive to do better in order to be more attracted to women, then I think the world in general is better because that striving to do better is the reason why we have skyscrapers and rocket ships, right? It's the reason why we have the electric engine and the, um, the, the gasoline powered motor. Those things came as inventions, men competing with other men for resources so that they could have more access to women. The world is a better place because of that. Um, so men striving to do better, I think it is better for both genders. Mm -hmm. I think even with um, pickup artists get a lot of criticism, but I think at least it has some kind of effort um, to do something about the pandemic of loneliness or uh, what I'm kind of getting at is it's at least doing something that reduces potentially male suicide and facilitates relationships. So um, mm -hmm. that's a good thing for me, at least.